Hello everybody! Welcome to my island tutorial. This island is one that's very similar to my video of the dragon islands and of the treasure trove. So if you want to learn how to do it, keep watching. So to start off, we're going to be grabbing some voxel cylinders. As an alternative, you can also use world edit for this. So I'm going to be taking my cylinders and stacking them up to get the height that I want and then using them to mark out the general shape of the ledges that I want marking out lots of different ledges and indents as I go, just making sure I have an idea of the general shape that I want. Once I'm happy with all of my cylinders, I can begin using my voxel erode brushes. For this, I'm using a brush size of five and I'm using BE Lift on an arrow and that'll set your gunpowder to melt as well. So you can use the both of these to sort of mold your cliffs the way you want them. I'm using the lift along the edges of my ledges here and just really exaggerating those shapes and getting them the way I want them because when I smooth it, I'm gonna lose some of those blocks. So I want to add lots so that I have some to lose during smoothing. Just going over the whole thing and making sure that my island doesn't have any of those pesky cylinders because we don't want an island made of cylinders for sure. Once I'm happy with my shape, I'm going to be using a blend ball command to get a general smoothing over the whole thing, but I'm never happy with it after this initial smoothing. The blend ball at first will kind of over smooth it and take away a lot of the ledges that I was intending on creating. So I have to go back over it afterwards with my erode brushes again and just make sure that I have all of those shapes where I want them and rough up the places that I want to be a little rougher. It's a bit of a long process, but it's worth it in the long run to get these shapes right now before you add any details. Once I'm happy with my shape, I do another quick blend ball over the entire thing with a large brush size and just fix it up a little bit and then our shape is complete and we're ready for painting. So for my painting, I'm going to be setting up a gradient ball. My gradient ball is going to be 60% air and 40% diamond. And I'm just setting up a simple gradient with grass on top and some gray cliff colors on the bottom of it. And we're just going to take this gradient ball and mask it to our stone and go all along these ledges here. Now these ledges really lend themselves quite well to learning how to use the gradient ball because they're nice and rounded and just really fit the shape. If you've got larger ledges, definitely go for a larger size gradient ball. I went for five here and that works well in this circumstance, but you can definitely change up your size to match your terrain. Once I have all of the ledges gone over, I'm gonna be using a splatter ball with my voxel to add in some of the darker shading and the grass on the top. So I'm gonna be using the cyan terracotta to add in some of the shadows and then a darker gray concrete to really add some depth to those darker indents of my cliff. And I really like the way that these colors help bring out the different details and shapes in this cliff. Once I've gone over the whole thing with my color, then it is ready to start getting creative. Now for me, I'm adding water around the bottom of mine and some waterfalls. And this is the point where you guys can kind of start doing whatever you want to this terraforming. I'm going to be making a nice little tree to add to the very top. So for this tree, I'm just marking out some of my branches with the gold, and then I'm going to be adding the leaves with a voxel splatter brush. I love the way that this tree ended up looking. I used a bone block trunk and some jungle leaves, and I just love the way that looks right on top of this island. After this, I'm going to use the replace command to get some grass and flowers on, and we are done. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.